Hi, it's Mike from Testament.io. I'm here to show you how to get started with BDD approach and how to manage the uh, BDD test automation with manual BDD scenarios under the one roof of test management system. Let's create a new project. So let's just create the Cucumber project. We have the empty project. So probably you have the test, test automation uh, in place like I do have already because uh, BDD test cases from one side is from the human readable uh, Gherkin format and from another side it's test uh, automation. Uh, so if you have it, so we would need to import those feature files easily in one click. How to make this done? You go to test test meta on so you go out and import your source code so you would need to choose some frameworks you are using i'm using the codesub.js uh, bdd uh, so here i will uh, i will execute this special command generated for me this command will go and introspect the feature files and scenarios that we have it's sent in one click to test management system no need to make any customization or any extension Fine then, so now we see that we have some, uh, some test cases. We can open some feature files and see what scenarios do we have. We can open these uh, scenarios and you may see that each of these tabs is clickable. So when we have synchronized our feature file from test management, uh, from test uh, automation repository to uh, test management system, so then all these tabs are gathered in steps database. You can see the full list of the steps I used and the usage, right? So you can click on it and see where it's used. Fine then. So once we have it, so it also gives you benefits when you describe your test cases. We will give you auto completion when you describe your new test cases. Fine then. So you have the automation in place. Let's just create a new manual test cases. Fine. So let's just uh, create. Um, uh, manual test cases. I already have it written on, on my local box here, prepared, so we don't spend time to write this down. I do have the feature file, and once we have it, so you have this auto completion. So when you will type and and some step, for example, then you can put it like here, so you can use the given, given some steps, uh, then when and, and then something like this right so these steps are used from the steps database that is centrally uh, ambiguous you know so standardization so then everyone who is using the testament can use these steps with auto completion fine then so let's just save it we have um, okay so we do have some kind of uh, duplication because i already have this scenario on my uh, on my local, uh, on, on my box already in test automation. So find then, so we have created uh, the feature, right? So this feature file, so you can just open and see. Okay, so we have scenarios, we can go inside of it and see it's created. So you have the manual from another side, so you have the manual BDD scenarios, and from another side, it's test automation BDD scenarios. If you would like to organize these test cases somehow, right, to reorder it, so you can use it like this one, right? So, um, yeah, so you can reorder, right? So, um, or if you, you can go inside of it, you can use the bulk edit to create a new uh, test scenario, right? Or you can add some tag or something like this, right? So we will, we will apply these changes in one click. Fine then, so once we have it, so you have organized your manual test cases and test automation. Let's just go to the execution. So you have uh, test automation, so let's just get started from the execution of your test cases. For each of the frameworks, we are using reporters, so you should install it on your um, repository. It's already done on my site, and you would need to add some once, uh, once we done configuration. So it's done and then you execute your test cases so as it's done usually so but with some API token. So if it's started so you you should see the reporter right and this reporter uh, working out of the box. Um, here we can see that uh, 
that the execution has been started, right? So, and we see this real time reporting. If something is failed, so we can see the, the stack trace of what exactly was failed. You can see the scenario code here. You may find the attachments and so on and so forth. So execution is in progress. So let's just start a manual execution. So you can launch the uh, manual test cases if you have, you have a scenario, so what you would need to fulfill. You can mark this past or failed uh, or skipped. So you can add some supplementary information like message. So you can add some screenshots and, and so on and so forth. So uh, we can mark this down like this. So, and then we have the results. So we have the manual results and we have the test automation results. Fine then. So we have these results. And so if we have these results, so we can um, look through, we can go to detailed view, we can filter some results, we can check and traverse what exactly was wrong with these test cases, right? And you can check both manual and automation at the same place. Fine then. So, um, of course, we do have a lot of different advanced features. So um, when you do some changes to your uh, project, you can check the pulse. So that is the audit log. You can check what exactly was changed in some projects by whom and when, right? So the, of course you can roll back some changes if you would like to. So you can also use the statistics to and analytics to understand where you have the appropriate coverage, uh, where the defects are, so and how these defects are impacted by your test cases. So if you have the flaky test cases or some ever failing test cases and so on and so forth. So um, also you may use the continuous integration, uh, which also can be easily uh, integrated uh, in, in, into the test management system. And you can add the JIRA for reporting your tickets and have advanced features there, or uh, configure some reporting notifications to Slack or MS Teams and so on and so forth. We have a lot of different advanced uh, features. So please try the BDD approach with test management system and have a good integration of the manual test cases and uh, automated BDD scenarios under the one roof in test management system.